Well, started buffing it out and was working my way across the, the motor well. And I found some more scratches. So I'm going to dig these out real quick with a little die grinder. I've got a little Dremel tool. And I'm going to dig those out and I'll mix up some tooling gel and fill these in real quick and then go back to buffing the rest of the mold. Actually it's a little Nakota. I don't remember whether I got it from Harbor Freight or what, but I put a little carbide tip in it. And then I've got just a few little scratches here. Just I'm just gonna get the deeper ones. The other ones I'll leave. I don't really want to make them too big, I just wanna get some nice clean area. clean area to put some tooling in. That's actually just a little spot here. And I've got this scratch. I think we're good to go there. Now I just need to mix up some uh, tooling. I'll fill that in. And then the last one I left uh, dry in the open air. This one I'm going to cover up with some stuff so that uh, well, number one I don't get into it doing something else. And I'm going to go ahead and work on buffing it. And when I get around to this I'll just go ahead and finish out this area. And basically I'll be wet sanding it just like I did the other side. <coughs> okay, first I wipe that down with a little bit of acetone, clean it out. And then I've got uh I got a little bit of tooling I pulled out of a bucket that I've got. What I do is I let it sit around for a while and most of the styrene evaporates out of it. Leaves it down to it's a lot thicker. Just put a Mix some hardener into it. That's pretty sloppy. Good, like a little bit of putty. Dab it in. Your dog's noisy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if there's somebody within it. Hundred yards of this house. I know about it. I 
Okay, those little things will those will come off real quick when I go to work the thing, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. And what this will do is kind of pack it down in there real quick and it will cover it. And if you've ever worked with gel coat, you know that it doesn't dry, it cures. And it prefers to cure in a mold. And what this does, it kind of tricks it into thinking it's in a mold. Because you get to take away the air from it, or else it's always going to be sticky. I mean, you can put additives and stuff in it. But sometimes it's just easy to do this. Now, if I got another one of these to do, I'll find some playing cards. Because there's a playing card trick that you can just put a playing card on there. And it's got a nice wax surface and a nice flat surface for the mold. This will actually have a little bit of texture from the tape. But I'll, I'll get back to that and I'll probably leave it overnight get back to it in the morning. I've got the rest of the boat to buff out. And if I don't run any more snags, I'll finish up with this spot and uh, work this motor well and then I'll be ready for wax. So, till then, take her easy.